Hello, my name is Greg Michael Oski. I'm Director of Technical Analysis and Trader Education for ForexLive.com. In this, my year-end technical report, I will outline my longer-term vision for the major currency pairs against the U.S. dollar for 2015. I will take a different tact, however, than most year-end reports. I will make my predictions for each of the pairs, but they will. I will also outline a high and low trading range where I expect the pairs to trade. Most analysts, I think, would think that getting the macro trends right is easier than the shorter term swings. I actually think the opposite. For me, it's like going to a shopping mall. I tend to start at one end and know that along the way I will go into certain stores first. The chances of me getting into the closest are fairly certain. Then as time goes by, I will progress to the others in the direction away from the entrance. The stores at the end, the final destination, I may not even get to. I may have already reached my budget, I may get called home, I may get sick of the crowds. The chances of me, of me getting to the end of the mall is just not that certain. I see trading in a similar way. We all have an idea that the price is going to some final destination, but along the way there are places and pa pauses where the market stops, corrects, restarts, may even turn the other way. Those stops may be technically driven, they may be fundamentally driven. It is impossible to predict what may happen. For example, in 2014, the Russian-Ukraine situation, oil plunging 40%, surprised Bank of Japan and ECB stimulus, US weather were all stories that were not on the traders' radars when the 2014 year began, but they had impacts on the currency markets. As a result, getting to the final destination, the final store, if you will, may never happen. In fact, for every longer term prediction that gets reached, there may be two or three predictions that never get there. With that disclaimer in mind, in this preview of 2015 of where I think the currencies are going, I start with a fundamental bias and then I'll take a look at what has been the trading range we might expect by looking at the three to five year average trading range for each currency pair. For example, if the Euro dollar three year average is 1,456 pips, where might those 1,456 pips be distributed in 2015, given my technical and fundamental bias? The range gives me a longer term vision in some pairs I might give a tighter trading range. Think of that as a value area or area where the market might trade the most in 2015. For other pairs that I am not so confident, like the US dollar versus Canadian dollar, I might give a bullish and a bearish view. Finally, I outline some major technical levels or, or stops along the way that we might expect the market to have some trouble getting through. So what could go wrong? Well, anything and everything. But I'll also outline the potential problems that may cause my vision to be deviate or become a little bit more blurred than the expectations. The goal for me and for you is to form and create a longer term mindset. From there, it'll be up to my shorter and intermediate term vision to take over the trading side that will get me through the year. This time next year, we'll revisit this report and we can all have a laugh. But who knows, it may also set the roadmap for your trading in 2015 that proves to be just what you need. Happy New Year and good fortune with your trading in 2015.